Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 7.6, fraction multiplication. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to multiply a fraction by another fraction. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Sasha has three fifths of a scarf left to knit. If she finishes one half of that today, how much of the scarf will she knit today? Let's look to our green box to get us started. It says, how much of the scarf does Sasha have left? Well, it told us that she has three fifths left. So three fifths. Of the fraction she has left, how much will she finish today? It tells us she has one half of that to finish. One half. So we are going to be multiplying one half of, or times, three fifths. First off, let's show a model of this. Let's show three fifths of the model. It says yellow. I'm going to go ahead and color it in yellow. If you don't have yellow, that's okay. But it is better if you have two colors. So I'm going to color in three of the five because she has three fifths of the scarf done. Now it says draw a horizontal line across it to show two equal parts. Okay, I'm going to draw this, cut it in half, and I'm going to color in one half of the yellow sections blue. So if I have six yellow sections, because I cut them in half, I'm going to color in half of six, which would be three. So one two, three. So now it says count the sections that are shaded twice. So that means we have three sections that I shaded twice out of, count up all the squares now, 10 total squares. Now it says compare the numerator and the denominator of the product with the numerator and the, product, the denominator of the factors. Hmm, what do we notice? Well, we notice that if I have one times three, which are my numerators, I get three. And if I have two times five, which are my denominators, I get 10. And that gives me three tenths. So when I multiply a fraction times a fraction, I multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Let's practice this in another way. Another way. It says you can multiply fractions without using a model. First we multiply the numerators, then we multiply the denominators. So in this example I have one half times three fifths. They've already given us the one half, we need to fill in the three fifths. Then one times three is three, and two times five is 10. So Sasha will knit three tenths of the scarf today. Notice that my number got smaller because I'm multiplying by less than one. Let's continue this practice on the next page. In the next example, it says that we are going to multiply four times five twelfths, and then we're going to answer in simplest form. Now, when we multiply a whole number times a fraction, it's important to know that every whole number has an invisible one underneath it. And once we can put on those x-ray glasses and see that invisible number one, then we do the same thing when we multiply a fraction times a fraction. We multiply straight across the top, four times five, and one times 12. Let's go ahead and do this. Four times five is 20, and one times 12 is 12. So now we have the answer 20 twelfths. 20 twelfths, however, is not in simplest form. So let's divide both 20 and 12 by the number 4. And I'm picking the number 4 because I know that the number 4 goes into 12 and it goes into 20. So 12 divided by 4, 4 goes into 12 three times. And 20 divided by 4, 4 goes into 20 five times. Now I still have an improper fraction, but I have much smaller numbers. Now I can think, how many times does three go into five? 
three goes into five one time, and then there are two leftover parts of three. So four times five twelfths is five thirds, or one and two thirds. So we add in that invisible one, and then we multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, and then simplify in the end. Today's lesson activity is the try this section on your paper. You can go ahead and do it on your paper. You do not need to do it in your math notebook. Try this. We're going to evaluate for C times 4 fifths, where C equals 5 eighths. So if C equals 5 eighths, then we're going to be doing 5 eighths times 4 fifths. We're going to replace the letter C with the number 5 eighths. And then we're going to multiply the numerators. 5 times 4 is 20. And multiply the denominators. 8 times 5 is 40. And I get the number 20 fortieths. 20 and 40 are related by the number 20. So I can divide both the top and the bottom by 20. 20 goes into 20 one time, and 20 goes into 40 two times. So the simplest form would be 1 half. So C times 4 fifths is equal to where C equals 4 fifths. Go ahead and fill in that blank and be prepared to show it at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.